Hey, it's Greg from The Code Creative. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set up a React application using Parcel. In particular, I'll be using Parcel version 2, whose release was just announced in October of 2021. If you're not familiar with Parcel, Parcel is touted as a zero config build tool and web application bundler, and it actually provides us with a whole host of tools which help in our development experience. Things such as hot reloading, encode minification, tree shaking, image optimization, compression, and so on. So stay with me here and you'll learn how to work with Parcel and to set up a React application with it. Let's get going. By the way, if you're new here to the channel, we've got new videos coming all the time. So make sure you subscribe so you can take your coding skills to a higher and higher level every week. For this video, I'm going to be using my code editor of choice, which is VS Code. And just so you know, before you can work with Parcel, you'll need to have Node and NPM installed on your computer, but that should be pretty standard if you're working with JavaScript. So what I've done so far is I've set up a folder on my computer. I called it Parcel React. And in VS Code, I'm going to open up the integrated terminal. And the first thing I want to do is I want to NPM init, and I'll do it with dash Y so we can skip all the questions that are asked. And now you can see we have our package.json file. Now at this point, we're ready to install Parcel. So in the command line, I'm going to do npm install parcel dash dash save dash dev. And there's two things to take note of here. The first is that we're installing it as a dev dependency because we only need Parcel during the development process. The second thing to note is that if you had used Parcel version 1 previously, the package name is changed from Parcel Bundler to simply Parcel. So let's go ahead and hit Enter and install this package. Now that Parcel has been installed, let's go ahead and open up our package.json. And here we can see in the dev dependencies, we do have Parcel 2. Now since we do want to create a React application, we're going to install two more packages, and those are going to be React and React DOM. So in the terminal, let's do npm install React and then we can also do react-dom. And we can now see those in our package.json file under dependencies. Now that we have everything we need installed, let's go ahead and finish with our package.json file by writing a couple scripts. So instead of this test script, let's make a script called start. And for this, we're going to say parcel. And then we'll also make one for build and this one will be parcel build. And then we can come up here to main and get rid of that. And instead of main, we're going to do source. And source is going to be our application's entry point. Now we don't have it just yet, but in a moment we'll make a source folder. We'll call it SRC. And inside of it, we'll put a plain old index.html file, which is going to be our entry point. And don't forget to put a comma after this. Let's go ahead now and make that SRC folder. And inside of SRC, we'll of course make our index.html file. And in VS Code, if you do an exclamation mark or the bang character and hit tab, you'll get some basic boilerplate HTML. Let's come down into the body now and let's make a simple h1 tag just so we can see that our application is indeed working in the browser. So to see the application in the browser, if you remember from our package.json file, we had this start script. So if we do npm start, That'll run the parcel command, and that'll point to that index.html file in the source folder. So let's come down into our terminal, and all we have to do is do npm start. And here you can see parcel has started up its development server, and is serving our application at localhost 1234. So in VS Code, if I option click on this, that'll open up our application in the browser, and this is what we see so far. Now at this point, we want to be able to start getting some of our React elements that we're going to create into the DOM. So to get that going in our source directory, let's create a new file, and let's call it index.js. I'm going to reduce the terminal window a little bit, and let's put the index.js file on the right side, so we can view our index.html file at the same time. Now what we want to do in the head section is to create a script tag, and its source will point to that index.js file. And now here's a difference with parcel version 1. In parcel version 2, we want to give our script tag a type equal module. Now in parcel version 1, we didn't have to put type equals module, 
but they change this in parcel version 2 because in order for browsers to support import or export syntax, we need to have this type equals module, and doing it this way in parcel matches the browser's behavior. Next up, we'll do some typical React setup stuff. In our index.html, let's go ahead and create a div, and we'll give it an ID of root. You can call this whatever you want, but here I'm calling it root, and this is going to be the element that we're going to use to render our React application into. So in order to do that, we can come into our index.js file, and let's import React DOM from React DOM. Remember that package we installed earlier. Then let's make a very simple functional component. Let's call it app, const app, and we'll assign it to an arrow function. And let's return something from here. Let's just return an h1 that says app component. And as a standard, we'll say React DOM dot render, and we want to render that app component into that div with the ID of root that we created in our index.html file here. So to do that, we can say document.getElementById, and that ID is root. Let's narrow this a little bit. There we go. So at this point, if we save and we go to the browser, we should see this app component in the DOM. So let's go back to the browser, and there we go, app component. So at this point, we have React set up. If we want to test it a little bit further, let's come into the source folder Let's make another file. Let's call it test, and we'll give it the JSX extension, just to prove that Parcel will support this automatically. Let's create another simple functional component. We'll use a little snippet here, just to speed things up. And inside this div, let's just create a p tag, and we'll say test component. And here's an interesting thing. We actually don't need to import React from React into this file. And that's because if you look in the package.json, you notice we're using React 17. And this is giving us what's called the modern JSX transform, which lets us use React without having to import it into the file. So just to see that it works, let's go into index.js, and let's bring in that test component. So let's import test from test.jsx. And since we're returning multiple elements, we're going to want to nest them. And under this h1, let's use that test component and render it to the screen. And I have to make sure I close out my parentheses here. There we go. And now let's take a look in the browser. And there you go, test component. And by the way, just to point out, here where we imported test from test.jsx, we could actually get rid of this extension. And if we save, you'll notice it works just the same. So thanks for checking out this video all about setting up React with Parcel version 2. If you got some value out of the video, please give it a like, and remember to subscribe to the channel. I'll also have a link down below in the description section and the comment section where you can get my completely free Google Search Tips for Developers cheat sheet. And also let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more about Parcel. See you next time.